Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. Let's get started with our good morning song together. Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. We'll fly to one side. Fly over to the other side. Fly back to the middle. Take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Stretch up over your head. Let's stretch to one side. Over to the other side. One last stretch up at the top. And now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Welcome to Circle Time. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, we have three things that we need to do. Number one, let's turn on our listening ears. Number two, let's put on our thinking hats. My thinking hat is over here, so I'm going to put it on top of my head. Today my thinking hat has some snaps underneath my chin, so I'm going to snap, snap, snap it up. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Will you show me how to do that? That's right. Boom, 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 boom. Now we're ready to start circle time. Behind me, I have the calendar and weather chart. The first thing that we're going to do is go over the date. Here's the month. Look at this, friends. We have a brand new month up here. Today is August 2nd. Yesterday was the first day of August, but today is the second day of August. August 2nd, and the year is 2021 or 2021. So let's get out our counting fingers. I don't even think that we need to warm them up or stretch them today. We don't have that much counting to do. How many days have we had so far on the month of August? Will you count with me? One, two. We have had two days so far in the month of August. Now let's sing the Days of the Week song together. For this song, we hold up our seven fingers for each one of the seven days of the week. And if you know the words to this song, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go over the days together. So listen carefully for the sound that the day starts with. And if you know what the day is, you can say it with me. Yesterday was S Sunday, the last day of the weekend. So that means that today is M Monday, the first day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be T Tuesday. But let's sing today is Monday together. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. And if we travel back up to the top of the chart, we have the season up here. What's the season, friends? Summer. That's right, it's summertime. And if we travel back down to the bottom of the chart, that means that it's time to sing the weather song together. And then we can share what we see outside of our windows. Will you sing with me? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So today is a beautiful day where I live. When I look outside of my window, I see mostly blue skies, but there are a few puffy white cumulus clouds in the sky. 
Today is mostly sunny and warm, but not too warm. Today it's supposed to be in the low 70s, which is my favorite type of weather. What do you see outside of your window, friends? Take a peek and let me know. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Because today is Monday, we have a new letter to talk about. This uppercase or capital letter says B, B. Can you make that sound? That's right. And this is an uppercase or capital B. B says B, B. Are you ready to guess what's inside of the letter box? Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter B, B. I'll give you a few clues, and if you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here's your first hint. This is something that has a front and a back cover with pages inside. Sometimes these pages have pictures on them. Sometimes they have words. Sometimes they have both. And this is something that you can read. Hmm, what could it be? Let's open it up and find out. This is a book. So here is the front cover of the book, the back cover of the book with the pages inside. These pages have both pictures and words on them. This book is called Have You Seen My Cat? and it's written and illustrated by Eric Carle, one of my favorite authors. Book starts with the letter B, B. This is how you write an uppercase B, B. One more time. And here we have the number of the week. So as you can see, we are back to double digit numbers. That means that this number is made up of one, two numbers. So let's talk about this double digit number. This is the number one, followed by the number zero. One, zero, 10. So this is the number 10. Let me put down my chalkboard so that I can hold up 10 fingers like this. Five on one hand, five on the other. 10. Now let's count to the number 10 together using the large bead frame. This week, we are going to be counting to the number 10 using the large bead frame. We will be counting 10 units and swapping it for one 10, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten units equals one ten. Now let's open up the number box and see what we have to count today. I have some blades of grass. As I count them, I'm going to line them up across the top of the box so that we can count together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and one more makes 10. When I look at all of these blades of grass, I'm looking for the shortest piece. Here we go. Here is the shortest piece of grass. And now I wanna find the opposite. So the opposite of the shortest piece of grass would be the tallest or the longest piece of grass, which is right here. I have the shortest and the longest. Altogether, we counted 
10 blades of grass. We also have a new sign of the week to go over. This week, I'm going to show you how to say truck. In sign language, remember friends, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking words out loud. So in order to say truck in sign language, you're going to take both of your hands and make a fist like this with the thumb on the top and then slightly move your fists like this. Do you want to try? Truck. This week we are going to be talking all about construction. Now I don't know about you, but both of my kids absolutely love anything that has to do with construction. From the workers who get the job done, to the tools they use, the vehicles they drive, and the actual structures that they create. So because my kids are both passionate about building, I can't say that I'm an expert on the subject, but I do have quite a lot of information that I've acquired over the years that I'd like to share with you. So construction has to do with building something new or fixing something that already exists. And it requires specific tools and vehicles and the people who know how to work with them. So I have a little toolkit right here and let's take a peek inside and see what kinds of tools I have. Maybe some of them will look familiar to you. What do I have here? I have a screw and I have a nail. Now, both nails and screws are used for connecting or joining pieces together. Next, I have this. This is called a tape measure. Now, when I pull this part of the tape measure out, it has lots of numbers on it. And this is used for measuring to see how big or how small something is. Next, I have a saw. A saw is used to cut pieces of wood. I have a screwdriver. This screwdriver is used with a screw and it's used to twist the screw into the piece of wood. This is called a hammer. This tool is used with a nail. So the hammer drives the nail into the wood. The hammer and the nail are used together, just like the screwdriver and the screw are used together. And the last thing that I have in my toolkit is called a level. So this level is used to see if something is straight. For today's work, we are going to be using one of these tools that we talked about. Do you want to take a guess which one we're going to work with? Today, we are going to be working with a hammer. Let's go see. So here I am in a real work site. This is actually going to be a future schoolhouse that we are in the process of building. And for today's work, we are going to be working with hammer and nails. Now, because we are using real tools, this work should be monitored by a grown-up. This is a hammer right here. This is the face of the hammer. We have the head at the top, the claw, and I hold the grip like this. I have some pieces of scrap wood and a big bucket of nails. What I want to do is connect these two pieces of scrap wood together using a nail and my hammer. With one hand, I'm going to hold the nail like this. With my other hand, I'm going to wrap my fingers around the grip and I'm going to start pounding the top of the nail with the face of the hammer, like this. 
So I'm just going to tap it a little bit until the nail is into the wood. And then I can take my fingers away and I can hold the scrap wood like this and continue to hammer. Now sometimes you may notice that when you hammer, the hammer hits another part of the scrap wood instead of the nail, and that's okay. I find that if I stay closer to the nail like this, I'm able to hit the nail directly as opposed to bringing the hammer all the way up and back down. So keep the hammer close to the nail and pound away. There we go. So once the nail is flush with the scrap wood like this, you know that the two pieces are now connected. Another option would be to mark your scrap wood ahead of time using a marker and you can make shapes. I'm in the process of making a square. You can also make letters or numbers. Remember friends, when you are using these tools to always be safe and use them correctly. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time friends. So because we know a little bit more about tools today, I have a song to share with you. And it goes like this. This is the way we hammer the nail, hammer the nail, hammer the nail. This is the way we hammer the nail when we go to work. This is the way we saw the wood, saw the wood, saw the wood. This is the way we saw the wood when we go to work. And the last one for today. This is the way we screw the nail, screw the nail, screw the nail. This is the way we screw the nail before we go to work. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give my video a big thumbs up and be sure to find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one more song to sing before we go. So let's wave goodbye like this. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, I'll see you next time. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you tomorrow.